What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So I've reviewed a lot of different types of projectors on this channel, but the one thing I never really talked about was the detailed differences and benefits of one projector type over the other. So today with me, I have an Epson 5050UB, which is one of my favorite bright projectors. And I also have the LG HU85LA, which I named the best ultra short throw. So both of these have their own benefits, but which one do you go with for your room? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about ultra short throw projectors versus standard projectors. So right now I have both the LG and the Epson projectors installed in my home theater. So both of these projectors were provided by their manufacturers and after using both of them for several months, I wanna share some of their differences. And before I get into the benefits of a standard throw projector, which might include some things you hadn't thought of, I wanna first start with the benefits of an ultra short throw. So the first and most obvious benefit is gonna be throw. So the screen I'm gonna be using is a 123 inch CLR3 ambient light rejecting screen from Elite Screens. And the LG is positioned just a few inches away from the screen while the Epson is several feet away. Now, of course, since the LG is right under the screen, it will have some inherent benefits. So it doesn't need professional installation. You can put it in a small room. It doesn't need to be mounted on a ceiling. There's no need for a long and potentially expensive HDMI cable and there's no shadows when someone goes to the bathroom. So these benefits make ultra short throw projectors more appealing to consumers who are new to projectors since they can be set up in just a few minutes, just like a TV. Another benefit that comes with ultra short throws is that they often have a laser light source. This means that they're very bright and the light source can last around 20,000 hours compared to the typical 2,500 or 4,000 hours that you get from a lamp-based projector. And even though ultra short throws are more expensive, the cost savings on bulb replacements does close the gap a bit. And considering that most ultra short throws are marketed as TV replacements, another benefit of an ultra short throw is that some of them come with a smart TV OS. So this LG has LG's web OS built in, so there's no need for a streaming box like a Roku or Apple TV. It even comes with a voice remote, and since it's internet connected, it also can get over the air updates. Unfortunately, this isn't something you're gonna find on most standard projectors, with the exception of some projectors like the LG HU70LA, which also has web OS. Another benefit of an ultra short throw is how well they work with ambient light rejecting or ALR screens. So if you don't know how ALR screens work, they basically reflect light from below and reject light from above. And since an ultra short throw projector is positioned directly under the screen, this is best case scenario since it allows the screen to reject even more light, especially from the ceiling. This gives the image more contrast, makes it brighter, and of course works perfectly for a living room where you might have windows or a lot of ambient light. And the last benefit I wanna mention is that most ultra short throws have speakers in the front of them. So if you're putting it in a living room, this works great if you don't already have a sound system. Now, most standard projectors do have speakers, but they don't usually sound as good. And if the projector is positioned in the back of the room, then the built-in speakers aren't even really an option. So after all those benefits, you might assume that ultra short throw projectors are better in every way, but now I wanna talk about some things you may not have considered. The first and biggest difference is cost. Now to be fair, this LG, although arguably one of the best ultra short throws, cost around $6,000, which also makes it one of the most expensive. The Epson is also expensive, but at nearly $3,000, it still costs way less than the LG. Now, of course, there are several much cheaper standard throw projectors out there, but since the Epson is a three LCD projector, it's brighter than even some of the brightest DLP projectors, and it has great color accuracy and a ton of installation features which make it a better projector to compare to the ultra short throw LG. And if you're not familiar with the differences between DLP and 3LCD then I'll put a card up here for a video where I explain the differences. Another benefit that standard projectors have is that they allow you to go with a crazy huge screen. So most ultra short throw projectors go up to 120 inches with a few going up to 150. Now, of course, most people aren't gonna go with a 200 inch screen, but if you're like me and prefer something a little bigger than 120 inches, then a standard throw projector might be a better option. And while we're on the topic of screen size, let's talk about the placement of ultra short throw projectors. So of course, as I said earlier, ultra short throws sit on a stand directly in front of your screen. Well, there are two things you have to consider about this placement. The first thing is that if you wanna go with the biggest screen possible, you have to make sure that your stand is deep enough to accommodate the projector being several inches away from the wall. 
So this LG has the shortest throw of all the 4K ultra short throws that I've seen, and it needs to be just over seven inches away from the wall to display a 120 inch image. Now this seems fine, but when you consider the fact that the projector itself is almost 14 inches deep, this means that the front of your TV stand would need to be around 21 inches away from the wall. And let's say you were trying to save a little money and go with something like the Vava Ultra Short Throw Projector. Well, you might have to rig up some kind of way for it to sit over two feet away from the screen for it to display that same 120 inch image and even farther away for a bigger screen. So this really goes to show you that you have to do a bit of research if you want a big screen with one of these types of projectors. And this brings me to the next consideration when it comes to placement in a home theater, which is the fact that the perfect place for an ultra short throw is usually right where most people have their center channel speaker. So if you're like me and have your center channel right under your screen, then you're likely to run into challenges with an ultra short throw unless you can put the projector on top of your center channel. Now this isn't such a big deal if you're putting the projector in a living room since you probably don't have a center channel speaker and the projector has its own built-in speakers, but if you're putting it in a home theater then it might require you to rearrange some things. This might include getting an acoustically transparent screen with your center channel behind it, putting your center channel above the screen, ditching the center channel altogether, or you can get super creative like this guy and put the projector inside of your TV stand so you can't see it at all. And the last thing I wanna talk about is image quality. So when it comes to balancing brightness, color accuracy, and black levels, the Epson 5050UB is pretty much the gold standard if you're spending less than $3,000. It has 2,600 lumens of brightness, incredible black levels, and unmatched color accuracy. The LG HU85LA puts out 2,700 lumens and also has great color accuracy, but it does fall short to the Epson and black levels. So even though these projectors make for a good matchup, there is one big Big downside to the Epson. Even though it supports 4K signals, it's not a certified 4K projector, so the LG is noticeably sharper. This is probably the biggest downside to 3 LCD projectors because they pretty much kill it in every other category. Now to be fair, most ultra short throws are DLP projectors, so if you're sensitive to the rainbow effect, then the 3 LCD projector is pretty much your best bet since they don't produce this phenomenon. But what's really cool about the LG is that it's kinda in a category of its own since it uses multiple lasers and doesn't use a color wheel. This means it has 90% less rainbow effect and it produces much better color than most DLP projectors. All right, so now that you know the pros and cons of standard and ultra short throw projectors, I'd love to know what you guys think about this. And if you think I missed anything or if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment section and I'll respond to your questions. And I'd love to get some other video ideas from you guys, so go ahead and let me know what you wanna see in the comment section. And I apologize for being a bit behind on videos, but I got a lot of new cool videos coming up for you guys. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video.